How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be going over how acupuncture can help with post-surgical healing. Acupuncture is an ancient practice of medicine that started in the eastern part of the world for longer than western medicine has ever existed, and for the last couple of decades there has been lots of research done on its methods and how it can help improve a lot of different types of diseases. And sometimes with current medical, Western medical treatments using acupuncture conjunctively can make patients recover much, much faster. Today specifically, I'm going to be going over some of the ways that using acupuncture after surgery can help with a lot of the post-surgical side effects someone may experience depending on the type of surgery they might have had. And also every single one of the ways that acupuncture can help you is evidence-backed. So I made sure that all the benefits of acupuncture I talk about today has research backed to help support it. If you go on PubMed and look up the things I talk about, you'll see that there is quite a number of research studies that were done, hypothesis-driven research studies that were done that showed the beneficial properties of acupuncture for said reason on how it's beneficial post-surgically. I also want to heavily, heavily emphasize the fact that before you decide to go have acupuncture done for any form of post-surgical complications or side effects you may have, please, please, please let your doctor know so that they are aware that you are using acupuncture as a form of adjunctive therapy to your post-healing process. It'll make everyone's lives easier in case something happens. Some of the most extensive research on acupuncture and how it can help people is the research behind acupuncture and pain. There's hundreds of studies that have been done on how acupuncture can have very, very beneficial effects with people who suffer from chronic pain. And there are studies that also show that acupuncture can help with post-surgical pain. A recent study that was published in the last five years showed that acupuncture helped with reducing the amount of opioids someone may need to help with post-operative pain. So people who used acupuncture after surgery for their pain were less likely to use more opioids to help with their pain relief. Opioids are a very important part of post-surgical pain. However, not everyone likes to take opioids. I personally, when I had my surgery done, took opioids for two days for my post-surgical management, then I switched to ibuprofen. But some people who may not tolerate things like ibuprofen and Tylenol well, and some people who might not tolerate opioids well, or if someone just doesn't want to be on opioids for the timeline that they do have post-operative pain and want to use acupuncture to help lessen their dependence on opioids to help them with their post-op pain, Acupuncture can be very, very beneficial as an adjunctive therapy to help reduce the amount of pain that they're experiencing after surgery. Another huge benefit to acupuncture after post-surgery is helping with scar healing. A lot of people don't know this, but there's been a lot of research on the effects of needling, not just acupuncture, any form of needling therapy to help with scar healing. It decreases the scar thickness of really, really extensive scars. And also it can soften scars to make them look less prominent. So acupuncture is one of those techniques that can help soften scars, can help reduce raised scars to, be, to appear more flatter. And also it can help with scar discomfort and scar pain. There's a specific technique in acupuncture that's been shown to have evidence-based benefits to surgical scar pain and healing and that technique is called surrounding the dragon i don't know much about this process specifically because i'm not an acupuncturist nor do i know the extensive details and history of acupuncture but this specific specific technique of surrounding the dragon has been shown in many different types of studies to help with post-surgical scars Next, I wanna talk about the benefits of inflammation and acupuncture. If you are someone who's had surgery done or have accompanied someone who's getting surgery to a medical office, 
you'll hear the word inflammation a lot and that's because when a surgery happens to someone there's a lot of inflammation that happens at the surgical site just because we're doing minor trauma intentional trauma to that area to go underneath the skin however it is going to elicit inflammation and we all know that inflammation is something that is painful that's something that's irritating and our body just doesn't like to be in a heightened inflammatory state but research has shown that acupuncture can help with reducing inflammation and the way that acupuncture does that is that studies have shown that it increases the amount of inflammatory chemokines that our body releases when there's inflammation to go down so when our body experiences a cut or we're going through an infection our body releases these chemokines which are these signals that our body sends out to let ourselves know that we want to have inflammation in that area inflammation is not always bad sometimes it is for a good thing it helps our body fight infections but too much inflammation can be a bad thing and can make healing a very very long process so after the surgery is done after you've healed there's going to be some residual inflammation and acupuncture can definitely definitely help reduce that another post-surgical benefit not a lot of people might think about is that after surgery you're not going to be using a lot of the muscles around that surgical site whether or not you have chest surgery i had surgery on my chest I wasn't using my chest muscles when I had surgery on my chest for about a month and a half because there was a lot of pain there and also I didn't want to widen my scars. People who have had total knee replacements or knee surgeries will not be able to use that leg as much as they would have had before they had surgery. So a lot of people after they have had surgery on any body part or site will experience some sort of muscle atrophy atrophy meaning that the muscle shrinks because you're not using it as often well a uh, recent evidence-based study has been published to show that acupuncture and electro needling has been shown to reduce the amount of much muscle atrophy someone may experience this was specifically attributed to diseases that made people muscles waste away or also conditions that people may have that made their muscles waste away but it can also be applied to post-surgical patients because of the fact that we're just not using those muscles and if we're not using those muscles those muscles will shrink so acupuncture has been shown to help reduce the amount of muscle atrophy we might have when we're not using those muscles and lastly psychologically acupuncture can help a lot with post-surgical stress and anxiety. I know me, after I had my surgery, I had a lot of post-surgical stress just because my mental, hate, my mental health wasn't at the right state after a, a huge surgery. I mean, it's a traumatic thing that happens both physically and mentally when someone is preparing for surgery and after surgery. So a recent study has shown that when you compared with a sham group who thought they were getting acupuncture versus a group of people who had acupuncture both of them high stress groups that study showed that the group that had the actual acupuncture done had far less levels of stress than the sham group that thought they were getting acupuncture but wasn't really getting it so in the end acupuncture does have a lot of benefits both physically and mentally for a patient who's just had any form of major surgery and would like to have an additional therapy done to help with some of the symptoms that they're experiencing along with the current treatment regimen that they're going through. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found it interesting and I hope you gained something by watching this video. Please share this video with someone else that may benefit from this information. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life activism and shenanigans and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.